Okay, in this video, we're going to go over the new button in the Avatar Appearance Editor, and this is the same for the male avatar. Um, it's the Reset Skeleton button. Okay, so uh, let's see. So say she's in a different pose, and even say she's a different size. Okay, we'll call her size. Actually, let's do the My Body Types Voluptuous. It's very, very super curvy. Okay. If you hit the mesh default, she'll stay in the same pose, but her scales and everything go back to the mesh default. Okay, but the rotations, it, it resets, I believe it resets the bone positions. Let's see, does it reset the bone positions of the, I think it resets the bone positions as well as the scales relative to each other. Um, so let's try... arm length. Yep. It changes the scales, which of course is going to change the the arm length because that's a, that's a scale. A pro, you know, you change the arm. The arm length changes by changing the scale of, I believe it's the elbow and the shoulder. Um, M shoulder and elbow both uh, change length in, I think it's that the Y? I think it's the Y. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think it's the Y. Um, okay. So, but if you click on Reset Skeleton, it puts her back into the T-Pose, T-Pose, um, which is the, the actual default bone positions of Second Life, which is the Avatar Skeleton XML file. So this has now been put back to the default bone positions and rotations and scales so that they're all back to the default uh, so but which happens to be the t-pose they form the t-pose okay so um so that's the difference between these two buttons you know sometimes you do want to reset everything to absolute back to the default bone positions not ruth ruth is not the default bone positions ruth is the shape you get when you create a brand new shape in the um, uh, in your inventory in Second Life. That's Ruth and that's the Second Life mesh default shape. See that's Ruth and that's the mesh default and now that the mesh default is in the default bone positions there's not going to be any difference between these two. See mesh default reset bone. Um, and so so I added that nice little that nice little button there and it's on it's on all the all the things. So awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Um, let's see. Now bind pose, clicking bind pose does not reset the um that's the bind pose. It does not reset the uh, morphs. See, this is this body here. That's that doesn't change shape by the scales changing shape. That changes shape by a morph, which is how the Linden Lab default avatar changes shape. It doesn't change shape the same way uh, Slink changes shape, or Tonic changes shape, or Beleza changes shape. Um, those are all fitted mesh um, avatars, and they change shape by the bones changing scales. So the scales are back to normal when you click on go to bind pose, um, but the morphs here have not changed shape. And I can prove it. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. By showing the female fit and mesh. See, it changes shape by the scale, not by the morph. Awesome. Alrighty. Um, so but we can do mesh default and that does put everything back to normal. Okay, so that's the, the new button and the difference between the two and you might find that coming in very handy at times. Um, so, so that's a, a, a small improvement and we will see you in the next video.